In this video, we'll show you how to replace cassettes. Beforehand, you need to pick the appropriate model depending on the required number of turns. For this procedure, you'll need a size 10 wrench, a large flat blade screwdriver, a crosshead screwdriver, and two hex keys. A hex key with a ball end will be useful, as we'll see later. First, loosen the screws of the cover with the screwdriver, then remove it. You can now access the cassette located here at the bottom of the actuator. It is attached with two screws located here and here. One is easy to access and the other is placed under its gear. The cassette can be installed in two positions, so you need to note how it is installed on your actuator so that you can place a new one the same way. First, remove the first screw with the hex key. Be very careful not to drop the screw inside the actuator as it might damage the motor. Now that the first screw is out, you can go remove the second screw under the gear. You can see that the grey cam is triggered if your actuator is in the fully open position or the blue cam if it is in the fully closed position. This will be your reference point for the end of the procedure. Now you can go remove the second screw. If you cannot access it because of the gear above it, you need to slightly raise the gear and turn it until you can reach the screw. You can use the ball and hex key for easier access. Make sure not to drop anything. Leave the screw on the cassette without removing it and raise the gear so that you can remove the cassette and the screw together. This way, you can be sure not to drop anything inside the actuator. Now you can remove the cassettes and take the screw. Put aside the old cassettes and take the new one. Place the screw on the new cassette so that installation is easier. Raise the gear so they can place the new cassette and start turning the screw so that you do not lose it. Once the screw is partially fixed, turn this gear on the cassette to engage it with the mechanical part of the actuator. Make sure that the cassette is correctly placed at the bottom of the actuator. Once that is done, place the other screw and fully tighten it. Finish tightening the other screw under the gear. Lastly, you need to electrically move the actuator to the same position as when you began the procedure. In our case, it was the closed position, so we'll raise the gear and turn the camshaft until the blue cam triggers its switch. Once that is done and the gear is released, the actuator is in the same position as in the beginning of the procedure. You will need to check that the original settings of the actuator have not been modified by running full opening and closing operations. If the settings are incorrect, perform the calibration procedure. Once the settings are correct, place back the cover by making sure that the seal is correctly placed and has not been damaged. In case of a doubt, you need to change the seal since it is crucial to maintain the IP68 rating. Once the cover is placed back, 
tighten the four screws and the procedure is now finished.